Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. In the name of God, Amen. Amen. Well, so today's Ash Wednesday, huh? It is. It is oh, yeah. Ash Wednesday. Uh, hope you all got your ashes. You can't really see mine anymore, but uh, I yeah. hope you all uh, <laughs> are having a good Ash Wednesday. Um, don't forget to fast and sacrifice. Yeah, today's um, a good day. Yeah. Keep the unborn in your prayers, and uh, now let's get right into it. Let's yeah? get into it. Okay. Let's talk about Ash Wednesday. Yeah? Okay. What's the um, reading for today? It's Matthew six. Uh, yeah. Let's see what it is. Matthew six something, right? This talks about the hypocrites. When they fast, uh -huh. um, they what? look dismal, and they disfigure their faces, and they're fasting. They want to be seen. They want attention. Right. And, and so, so um, the question that comes up is, why are we putting this, these ashes on our forehead yeah. like the hypocrites that put stuff on the forehead when it says, well, okay, it says in the Bible, it says in the Bible, um, wash your face, it says, uh, uh, anoint yeah. your head. It says, you know, um, make yourself look presentable, but don't, why, would, why would we rub ashes on our forehead? Yeah. Well, it's a sign of um, when you got your ashes. What did uh, the person say? Was it um, remember dust. thou art dust? Um, right. Thou and dust. unto dust you shall return. Mm -hmm. um, now that one's that's the traditional uh, thing they've said. Um, sometimes the modern um, Catholics have said um, repent and believe in the gospel, but um, that's fine too. But I mean, generally, it's it's remember you are dust because it goes back to Genesis. Um, that we were formed, man was formed from the dust of the earth, and um, so we're nothing, right? Basically, it just means you know it's a sign of our nothingness before God and men. And um, I mean, I guess it could. I mean, if, if you're doing it to look for attention, then you know, then that would be um, condemned, you know, by the scriptures. Mm -hmm. But if you're, um, and sometimes I mean, you could, you know, you could always go later in the day, not trying to throw anything out there. I mean, if you go. At six thirty at night or at four forty five mass, like I'm, you know, I'm gonna go so, then. You could, they, you could, um, you could. Yeah, right. Sometimes they have, have right uh, sometimes they have like ash, ash services because it's not actually, it's yeah. actually not a holy day of obligation. No, it's not. Yeah. Um, I suggest still going to mass, but it's, um, you don't have to. And also, uh, it's for remembering your death. Yeah. And, um, oh, yeah. and you, you could look through the Old Testament, and you'll see a lot of times, you know, when it comes to mourning someone's death, they, what, what are these two things you see? Is sackcloth, sackcloth, and ashes. Yeah. So it's just a sign to remember your death. Yeah. Um, it's not a sign to make us look like we're... Uh, Better than anyone. No, you're not looking for well, attention. Yeah, well, what well, the hypocrites will be doing is making themselves look like they are actually a, in like a poor state, right? Yeah. Like a, yeah. Uh, a distressed state. That's not what it's for. It's to remember your death. Yeah. Um, and so um, a lot of times, sometimes I know we're, we, we give up things, you know, for Lent, of course. Mm -hmm. It's, maybe it's good not to mention what you're actually giving up. That way you don't tell everyone, you know, because then you're not looking for approval or anything. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, have discretion and prudence with that and pray about it and see. Um, but um, Don't give up YouTube? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't give up YouTube. No, you know, please. Oh, yeah, please. You got Facebook, stuff to watch, yeah. right? Keep it, he, I and, mean, if uh, you give up yeah. Facebook, just make sure you stay on our channel. Yeah, right? definitely. All right. I had a question about the consecration of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Um, it's an intense question. Um was the um, consecration fulfilled as uh, Blessed Mother asked at Fatima. And um, <clears throat> it was on Jimmy Aiken's, um, you know, station there. And um, I would, I kind of wanted to give a Catholic both and to this one, yes and no. But basically, in a nutshell, it was, um, of course, Sister Lucy had said, basically, okay, so background, just um, Our Lady had asked that Russia could be consecrated with all the by the Pope and all the bishops in the world to her Immaculate Heart, for, and it would obtain the conversion of Russia, and there'd be a period of peace in the world. And um, just to make it clear, the visionary herself, legit, approved by the Church, mm -hmm. uh, Mayor, uh, she did say that it was done in 1984 when Pope John Paul the Great uh, consecrated the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So, I mean, the request as such was fulfilled. Um, now, I mean, whether or not it would have, you know, it certainly would have been better if, if all the bishops, you know, had complied. And so there is a sense in which, you know, you can still, um, I mean, there'd be nothing wrong, I mean, with hoping that that could ever, you know, happen. I'm sure it wouldn't, you know, wouldn't hurt the world, you know, as the state of the world today. But um, yeah, I mean, it's fine. And um, and it just as a disclaimer, my own personal thing, I was thinking of um, my own answer. This is not a like, 
dogmatic thing, but I mean, in other apparitions that have, some have been approved, some were waiting approval, there, I don't hear Our Lady isn't necessarily mentioning Russia anymore, so it seems like if she really wanted this done, she'd still be uh, pushing it, but you know, and um, just, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just the point of it is just to bring the world back to God. So if we pray for conversions of hearts and minds and souls to Christ, and um, also a co-redemptrix question, someone asked me about what that is. It's just um, a doctrine of the church. It's not a dogma yet, and it's teaching that Mary, we already have four Marian dogmas, and um, the mother of God, she's the immaculate conception, the... Um, of the virgin birth of our, of our Lord, um, so she was a perpetual virgin, and um, the Assumption, and so um, there are four, you know, four dogmas there, but um, this doctrine is pretty solid in um, tradition. Uh, in Scripture, it's just Our Lady was standing at the foot of the cross, John 19, 25, mm -hmm. and the woman crushed the head of Satan, Genesis three fifteen. so um, there was a papally uh, approved, well, I should say Vatican had... Um, now, uh, the local bishop had approved the Lady of All Nations apparition in Amsterdam in the 50s. It was given, uh, you know, apparitions of Mary. She had asked, you know, that this dogma be proclaimed sometime, you know, soon. So that's why it's legitimate to pray for that. I do myself mm -hmm. pray rosary for the Fifth Marian dogma. Um, it's a good thing. You know, it can't hurt, you know, the church and the world for peace. And um, and so, um, but definitely, yeah, it's, uh, it's a doctrine, John Paul II. Blessed John Paul II, you uh, did say that about um, six times throughout papal addresses mm -hmm. and things. And um, there was a question on Pascal's wager, too. Um, and um, it just someone asked me about the legitimacy of it. <clears throat> and I thought it was interesting. Have you heard much on that? that uh, you know, no. Like, um, Pascal's wager is, okay, basically just the idea that for atheists, when we're you know, in debates, if you say to them that... Um, that it's better to believe because you 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 know oh, you yeah, won't yeah, go to yeah, hell or, you know and um, mm -hmm. you know your salvation is, is you yeah. know rather and it's kind of a bit of a it's kind of a threat tactic um, to bring uh, people to to God you know to believe and um, someone asked me to comment on that so I'm going to bring up uh, this very brief here basically Blaise Pascal was uh, pretty legit I mean overall you know I think he's used traditionally as a good Christian but um. He was um, sadly um, influenced very much and was pretty much very involved um, with the uh, Jansenist heresy in France at the mm -hmm. time in the 18th century. And so, you know, obviously that impacted his thought and, you know, had influence there. And uh, I just wanted to clarify that the reason I do, you know, think that obviously there is a, you know, there is an eternal significance to what we believe in our faith and we do have to have faith and it's important but um, I do think it's important to make sure in clarifying that we should tell atheists yeah I mean of course there is hell you know of course it's true but it, it does have an impact also on this life now what you believe I think that it's, it's heaven all the way to heaven as St. Catherine of Siena said and it's hell you know all the way to hell and so it's not just a matter of like God's going to like just get you at the end of your life. It's it's it is. Uh, it's a matter of your life is is already hellish if you don't have God in it. So I think that it's important to tell people that and help them to see that concretely in their life now, rather than just threaten them with eternal fate. Although that is obviously part of it. Um, I just think it's important that we don't just like put just fear. It's it's probably a little bit too much. Uh, you know? Would you, would you say that uh, like a faith Based out on of fear, fears, yeah. genuine fear. I mean, I, I know yeah. in some aspects, you know, not sinning based off of fear of hell, of hell is good. But I mean, yeah, they say that's okay. Yeah, but it's it's definitely not perfect. You know, contrition, perfect love right. casts out all fear. Right. There you go. Okay, so let's just be biblical about it, please. Uh -huh. And um, yeah. All right. Well, um, thank you. Okay. Thank you all. Nice and um, I'm gonna try to add on a little tiny. Uh, I'm gonna try to add on a little clip in a second of a. Uh, okay. Of Ed doing a little magic for you We'll guys. be back. Okay, let's All just right. do the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, O most gracious, gracious Virgin Mary, Mary that never was denounced, and anyone who fled to that protection, implored thy help, help and sought thy intercession, and was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly into the illusion of virgin and mother. To thee we come before thee, we stand sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, the Lord incarnate, despised not our petitions, but in thy mercy, you may answer us. Amen. Our Lady Fatima.